Time to talk some Dallas Cowboys football, and we won't do that without the man, the myth, Mickey Spagnola. What's going on, Mickey? Hey, how are you doing today? Good, good. So, so the open week is over. Cowboys got to worry about the Minnesota Vikings now. Dak had a week to rest at calf strain. How did that help? Did that, did that do anything? Yeah, I think he's getting better and better as the week has progressed this week. Uh, he's still been limited in practice. Uh, not sure that he's taken uh, many, if any, snaps in the team portion, but he continues to do his rehab work. He continues to do the throwing deal, uh, drills with the quarterbacks, moving fine to me, uh, and, and he feels like if it was up to him, he's playing in the game. Uh, but again, I think it's a uh, big-picture decision that this team will make. Uh, knowing that uh, they don't want this injury to linger, sort of the way they treated uh, the shoulder strain in training camp when they shut him down. Uh, so uh, we'll see if he's good to go. I think they will wait till Saturday uh, to make the decision if he can play or not. And if he can't, then Cooper Rush would get the start. Well, you know, two, there was one reason I would think that they would want him to be 100% is because of uh, – the defensive pressure that he's going to see against the Vikings, that defensive line. I mean, they got 10 sacks on the year. I mean, I mean I just, they, they really come for the quarterback. Yeah, no, they do put pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Uh, the Cowboys' former defensive coordinator, Mike Zimmer, the head coach there, but he's really kind of the defensive coordinator too. Uh, and he's known for bringing pressure, bringing different types of pressure. Uh, so this offensive line... Uh, is going to have to be on spot in, in this game, and regardless if it's Dak, uh, that maybe he's not 100%, or if Cooper Rush, his backup, uh, is going to start his first game in the National Football League. Uh, so uh, you're exactly right. Uh, this offense is going to get put to a pretty good test uh, by the defense of the Minnesota Vikings. And what do you think about uh, Lyle Collins? You know, now... Now, you know, there was some worry about, oh, he's gone from right tackle, but uh, his replacement has played so well that now they've talked about moving him to guard, moving him to tackle, moving him all over the place, you know, like that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think the Cowboys are just experimenting. I thought all along, though, just because the suspension was over, that he was going to jump in right away on one padded practice after, in seven weeks and say, okay, he's ready to start. I, I, I was thinking that they would like to get him this week of work and then next week possibly get him back into the starting lineup. The way they've been working in the drills that we get to see, uh, he's been working as the second team let right tackle behind Terrence Steele, who has played well. Uh, but again, Lel Collins is still the second best uh, offensive tackle on this team. Uh, the fact that they talked about the guard position, I think that could have something to do with maybe he's good enough to go into the game as the backup swing tackle and also maybe the backup left guard. Uh, so we'll see where this one goes. Uh, just know that this talk about him playing guard, he hasn't done that uh, since the 2016 season. I say Dalvin Cook, and I think some people have nightmares, right? <laughs> No, absolutely. This will be the best offense the Cowboys have faced in quite some time. May have to go all the way back uh, to the second game of the season against the Chargers. So, uh, yeah, Delvin Cook will create some problems. Uh, Kirk Cousins will create some problems. And if you remember last year, while the Cowboys scored uh, with a minute and maybe 30 seconds to go to win the game 31-28, uh, they struggled slowing down that Minnesota offense, and that included Dalvin Cook, and that included Kirk Cousins, who threw for three touchdown passes. Yeah, Kirk Cousins has some great weapons to work with, with Thielen and, and Jefferson. And so the, the Cowboys, the, the, it's going to be important for the defensive front to try to get some pressure on him, and, but at the same time not cheat too much and let Dalvin Cook kill him, right? Yeah, start with stopping the run. That's important because if you can stop the run, then you have a better idea when a team's going to throw on you, and then you can pin your ears back and go get the quarterback. Uh, so I think first and foremost, uh, this team has to do a better job against the run and then a much better job in eliminating those big chunk plays that they've been given up on a regular basis against quarterbacks that aren't as proficient uh, as Kirk Cousins. 
And you know what I ask you every time, man. <laughs> How do you see it, Mickey? Who, who, wh wh where is this game going to go? High scoring? And who's, who's going to be on top? Well, tell me who's playing quarterback, and I give you a better answer, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, so maybe you need to answer, ask me that question on Saturday uh, because I think that uh, this would be a tough deal with Dak Prescott yeah. playing. It'll be even a tougher deal for this team going in a, with a quarterback that it will be making his first NFL start if indeed it's Cooper Rush. So you, you, you seem to think that uh, perhaps Cooper Rush might get the start. I mean, it, I, uh, I guess if Dak is not taking snaps in practice, not taking a whole bunch of snaps in practice, it probably would make you think that. But, but uh, Cooper Rush, it does seem like he might get the start, huh? Well, they're preparing him uh, at this point to, to, to be sure that if he has to start, he's ready to go. Uh, so I think they'll have a better idea of what they're going to do on Saturday. They'll continue monitoring Dak's progression. It's gotten better each day. I thought he did a lot more in the portion of practice we get to watch uh, on Thursday uh, than he did on Wednesday. Uh, and, and I think he's improving. Uh, but again, it's a big picture decision. So it'll uh, be interesting to see how they come uh, to the final conclusion. I'm already getting my popcorn ready. <laughs> he's Mickey Spagnola, and I'm Van Tate. Thank you so much for joining us again. We'll see you next time.